So let's dispel some rumors about the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. You know, it seems to me there's a lot of misinformation out there, a lot of fake news that for some reason keeps propagating all over the web. I don't know what it is. You know, I have, or in it, a 2024 Toyota Tacoma myself. It is the TRD Sport. And uh, here's a, a quick look at it, you guys can see. And uh, I've gotta say, I love the truck. But these rumors that seem to keep persisting. First one, there's no headroom in here. They didn't really increase anything. What? Look at this. My seat is all the way up. Look at this. And I'm a normally proportioned person, I think. I'm not like real short from the head to the waist or anything. I'm five foot nine and a half. And I have to say, that's a bunch of BS. And I'm riding right now with my seat all the way up. And I'm doing that as kind of a little experiment. I've experienced the seat kind of dropping by itself. I honestly think that every time I get in and out, I'm pushing on the lever and I'm really doing it myself, but we shall see. It's kind of an ongoing, uh, ongoing thing here. So that is simply not true. I don't know where that rumor came from. Obviously from someone who has never ridden in the truck. And that's the other thing. I think a lot of these rumors come from people who have never even seen one in person. For some reason, they're just miserable and bitter. Uh, maybe because they can't afford one. I don't know what it is. Next up, the hood. The hood bounces around like crazy. Now, I'm gonna give you a view of the hood. And look on the left side there, right below where my sticker is, right over there. Uh, there is some truth to this rumor. The hood does bounce a little bit. It's not like it bounces like mad or, or it's horrible or anything and it's you know ready to fly off the hinges. There is a little bit of movement. But take that with a grain of salt. I would think any hood that's big on any vehicle, particularly a truck, is gonna have a little bit of movement in it. If I'm not mistaken, my third gen as well. Uh, so the rumor that it, it's horrible and it's some big design flaw, that's a bunch of BS. Let's talk about the plastics in the truck. People have been commenting that there's tons of plastic in this truck, way more than what the third generation had. I'm here to tell you, it is really no different. It is pretty much the same. It's just organized differently, of course, as you would expect. I mean, it's not going to be identical to the third gen, right? But it is certainly not overladen with plastic any more than any other vehicle is. You guys can see over here, the driver's area, the radio area, the dash. I mean, really, such a petty thing. I think a lot of these folks are grasping at straws. They're trying to spread bad information to dissuade people from buying the truck, and they're grasping at straws. Next up, we got to talk about the power plant. That, of course, is one of the biggest points of contention about the truck. It is a four-cylinder turbo. Now, I've had a couple of people leave comments on the channel. They claim, claim that they've gone and driven this truck, the fourth gen Tacoma, and it actually is slower than the third gen. And I'm like, there is no way in hell this truck is slower than the third gen. It simply is not true. Now, let me say, I do love the Tacoma, but I am not a paid advertiser for Toyota or anything like that. I have no real allegiance to Toyota other than I simply like the product, that's it. If it was a dog, I would tell you it's a dog because that's one of the things that I guess in other vehicles that I've had that really drives me nuts. Uh, any vehicle has to be able to get out of its own way, right? If it is horribly slow, gutless, I'm not gonna like it. And you know, the third generation has a lag problem. I've talked about that on the channel many times. I went with the pedal commander to get rid of it, and thank God it actually exists. Because if it didn't, I probably would have gotten out of the Toyota Tacoma world a long time ago. Because that truck is just so laggy without the pedal commander in it. Um, loved the truck after I had it, no issues whatsoever. It's still not as quick as this truck is, um, but, uh, I, 
don't know what people are talking about. It's it's ludicrous to me to say that the fourth gen is somehow slower than the third. It's simply not true. The acceleration is here. The power is here. The torque is here. I don't know what they're talking about. Just doesn't make any sense to me. Let's talk about pricing. You know, it was a bit of a a slap in the face, a shocker, I guess, when pricing first came out on these trucks. And it is more expensive. It for sure is. But a lot of people will have you believe that it is 10 grand more than what it really is. I paid about 40, I think it was 43,000. There's a video on the channel where I went over what I paid and all that. But I believe it was about 43,000, something like that for this truck. And it's well worth it to me for the advancements in tech that we have, in power, acceleration, the looks of the truck, well worth it to me. But it certainly is not 10 plus thousand dollars more than what the third gen was, depending on the trim level that you get. Now, that's not to say that Toyota's not priced themselves out on some other vehicles. If you look at the Pro, 60 some thousand dollars, that's absolutely absurd. But how many people buy the Pro anyway? I would say the sweet spot are the TRD versions and probably the SR5. They are an increased price, but you can get deals out there now too. And that's another thing that a lot of these folks are not mentioning. A lot of dealerships, I haven't heard one that's not, is offering anywhere from one to three or four thousand dollars off on the Tacoma. That puts it I think in a lot of people's opinion, and maybe mine as well, back in line with where this new truck really should be priced. I think Toyota was trying to find that point of equilibrium in the market. In other words, what's the most they could charge for the truck and not completely lose market share? I think they overshot it a little bit. I think the truck is probably priced at sticker about three or four thousand dollars higher than it should be and i think that's why we're seeing these reductions uh, in addition to trucks starting to i guess increase in inventory levels on the dealer lots i mean obviously they want to move these trucks um, so they're having to reduce the price a little bit. The economy doesn't help either. There's a lot of doom and gloom out there. Interest rates are high. I mean, who wants to go finance anything right now if you don't have to and pay all that extra money in interest? It just doesn't make a lot of sense, particularly if you're driving a third gen that there's nothing wrong with and is going to last another who knows, 50, 75, 100,000 miles, there's no reason to run out and spend that extra money. Lastly, the looks of the truck. Everybody's talking about how it's cheap and, well, not everybody, the detractors, about how it's cheap and the body panels don't match up. It's cobbled together. I don't know where they're getting that. I went over this truck with my own fine tooth comb and I gotta say, the seams, where all the parts come together, all the lines, all of it looks better than what I had with the third gen. Um, take a look at one yourself, go to the lot, look at the seams, you'll see. It's just simply better, in my opinion. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of run over that a little bit. You know, there's a lot of rumors out there, people are spreading, some people. Um, I don't know why, because they just don't like the truck. Maybe they're jealous. Maybe they can't afford a new one. Maybe they're just evil. I don't know. Could be competitors too. Don't think that that doesn't happen. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have experience, actual experience with the 2024. What do you think of it? Did you find anything that you don't like? And I don't mean you don't like the four cylinder turbo just because you're afraid of it. It hasn't been out long enough for us to really know if it's gonna last or not. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Time will tell. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.